there is a perception that keto is about eating huge amounts of fat. It's low carb, low calorie, and based on a Mediterranean style diet. KFC, keto fried chicken, used in ground almonds. And that comes with protein, and that comes with extra fiber. And on average, they lost 9.5 kilos. That is amazing. You know, this in, is in two months, months, did you say? In two months. So they actually, they lost it, lost a little bit more and managed to keep it off. Keep it off yeah. after a year. You know, the evidence is very clear that the, the people who lose the weight fastest are most likely to keep it off. You know, in the past, I have to say, and I'm embarrassed to say it, for, for before I saw Mike reverse his diabetes, my general thing, and I think most doctors, because we get no training in it, would say, oh, just eat less and move more, mm. which is supremely unhelpful. And oddly mm. enough, people yeah. never came back and said, oh, I lost weight. In terms of somebody who is approaching this and maybe is vegetarian or vegan, how would they, um, are there adaptations to them? There are ad adaptations and we suggest swaps, um, but as a as a vegetarian, it means using a fair amount of cheese. Um, if vegetarians are eating eggs, um, it's and and there's plenty of recipes that actually that are, um, account for that. Uh, but they do need to watch the amount of protein and somewhat, you know, essentially. Um, if they're not getting um, enough protein, it's worth using protein powders and that solves the issue, particularly for vegans where it's mm. harder to get adequate, adequate proteins. And there are really good protein um, shakes out there. In fact, the Fast 800 use protein shakes. Um, the Fast 800 program, we have an online digital program, um, which has got fantastic you know, results from it. Um, so topping up the protein is, is fairly key. So the other thing we say to vegans is, you know, they may need to go over a thousand calories, um, because it's harder. You, you, they need to eat more to get the adequate amounts of protein. Otherwise you, you're, you're left feeling hungry. Mm, for sure. And I guess every time they're kind of eating that protein, it's in combination with some carbohydrate usually. Yeah, that's it's right. It's difficult so, to stay low carb. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, for vegans, a lot of there are things like um, edamame beans are extraordinary. They really pack a punch of protein there. But, you know, going to chickpeas, others, you, they're good sources of proteins. But as you say, you have to eat quite a lot of carbs with them. Mm. Is it Which is for okay. them to and take ketosis then? It does make it a bit harder to, to achieve ketosis. You can still be losing weight without being in full ketosis. It just takes a little bit more time. And, you know, we would recommend they go to eating over a, a thousand calories to make sure they're getting that protein. Mm -hmm. and, and just remember this, it's only for a short period of time. It's it is this is during the weight loss phase. And then when people are getting closer to their goal, um, they might want to move to intermittent fasting so that they are doing, um, you know, maybe the 5-2 version where they are doing 800 calories to, to 900 calories twice a week and then eating normally the rest of the week. And, some, and that's a good way, is it, of sort of maintaining the results that you've achieved? It's it's a good way of transitioning when, because some people kind of get, when they've been on, um, it's just an effective way of, of, of um, you know, moving back to a norm, you know, a routine everyday um, diet. And some people actually find that on a day, on a weekly basis, they like to do one day of 800 calories. And there is evidence that there are benefits to, to in, you know, intermittent fasting for all sorts of other reasons beyond weight loss. Mm. Yeah, for sure, for sure, in terms of longevity and overall health. Absolutely. Mm.